a couple of people are saying that it's uh, completely over their head and they want to know um, what, how much uh, in net worth does this stuff actually start to matter? It's interesting. Um, obviously, anybody who's taxable is my starting answer there. Anybody who's taxable. If someone is single and they're worth, they have a business and they're worth over you know, $11.58 million, absolutely. Someone's married, they have a business and other assets, their total base is, is over $23 million. Absolutely. That's an easy starting point, right? And by the way, find those people, get those people. You know, And what you're doing with Andrew and company, I gotta tell you that this planning approach, what he's getting you to do, to be the outsourced VFO, uh, CFO, is, is setting the stage for what we call the VFO, the virtual family office. And, and where they're looking to me and you to be these key advisors around their world for global planning issues, okay? If you can get into that position and be comfortable there and start identifying strategies as the planner, your clientele will go upstream if you're not already there. It's just an automatic offshoot of this type of, of approach and mindset. So as you do what Andrew is telling you to do, you will catapult up the net worth level of your clientele and you'll get a couple. So, so anyway, it's, it's, I, I can't say it enough. That's how this works. Um, but that's the easy answer to if you have the higher net worth clients, absolutely. All right. Perfect. The, the, the exception though is I also have situations where my client today is worth $5 million, but they just started a tech company that we think if we model it out over the next five years, it's going to be worth $25 million. You're going to get into, you guys are, if, if you're getting into the world of people who are not taxable regularly, that is the ripe world for planning because somewhere in there, someone's going to do well. Someone's going to sell their business, you know, a couple of years, someone's going to build a portfolio net worth as you help them get to their, their goals. Um, that's the time to always be thinking about pre-sale planning, you know, planning for that growth over time. That's what this whole presentation is about. So, so if I have a client that has a business that we, we know is, is likely to grow over time, we want to include the kids or we just want to you know, have a gift, um, it's kind of a no harm, no foul. If, if in the end, let's say I split the baby, I go 50% to, uh, I keep 50% and then 50% to a gift trust, um, I still control the entire principal, right? And so if, if it did go over the, the rates in the future, then um, you know, good for us. If it didn't, um, I'm no worse off because I still control it all. Um, I want to remind everybody what I said earlier, this, these high rates, these very high exemption rates, these are scheduled to go away in 2026. Okay. Number one, number two, who knows what's going to happen in the election coming up. If you happen to have a more pro progressive bent in the end and you have left, 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 um, you know, you're going to have this law go back as fast as Trump put it up to 11.58. You know, the Democrats, if they control everything, could come right back down to a million dollars. And that's going to be virtually all of your clients will be taxable, right? So, so it's really just a matter of, of connecting with your, your clients and seeing what, what their situation is. Um, you know, if somebody has a million dollar business, they're just making money for themselves. You know, they don't have kids. They don't have intention to transfer. This isn't for them. This isn't for them. This is planning for clients who are looking at um, ultimately making a transfer. Okay, and where we see we see appreciation that we can we can uh, exploit, given the current environment.